So I'm sitting behind the wheel of my 66 Chrysler 300. It is for sale. Uh, this is a non-air conditioned model. Um, it's in pretty darn good shape inside. I do have a tear on the driver's seat, but I actually bought... If you take a look at the ceiling there, you'll see there's no tears. Take a look at the chrome on the... I just started this up. It pretty much sat for the last, I don't know, eight, nine months. But I put the stable gas cleaner in it. So, I, I mean, gas, you know, the stable in the gas, I always do that. And I've had old cars off and on for years and years, and I kind of know... If you put your stable in there, they're good for six or nine months or something like that. But I also don't just put in, like I put a bunch of stable in a gallon, I mean, I'm sorry, in like about five gallons of gas. And this is how I maintain these things. Um, about a year, you know, I mean, like, okay, there was five gallons in there and I put the stabilizer in it. Then, before I started it up just now, I went ahead and put in another three gallons of clean gas, you know, like brand new gas. And I typically run them for about, I don't know, Till the till the motor, till I think it might have burned up the five gallons of gas that's in it. But you know, you kind of heard the motor running when I had just started it up just now, and I'm letting this video run continuously so you can have some idea of what it is I'm selling. But you can see like the doors aren't all rotted out, and the insides of the door pillars are good. And you can see that my door panel is there. And these things, they get kind of a funky looking little, like the chrome that wears out there. But the, the, the panels and the pads and all that stuff are good. And this is that seat that I said had a tear. Um, well, I guess i got to open the door for you to see it. Okay, so there's that tear. But I actually have a pair of $300 year one. Uh, seat covers for this Chrysler 300. I mean, I ordered those things. Um, I bought this about four years ago, intending to refurbish the whole thing and be driving it, hopefully be driving it by now. I put new brakes all the way around on it and then had a front brake line go out. I, the new brakes I put on was a new hardware kit, you know, uh, like shoes and the, the pistons and all, you know, like all the internal hardware stuff for the drums. Uh, so the drum brakes all the way around. And I put on uh, new tires right after I bought it because it still had the ply, the bias ply. I have the fender skirts in the trunk. I don't leave those or the hubcaps on. The hubcaps are pretty expensive. Like you spend 200 bucks on a decent set of hubcaps for these because they're spinners. But this is pretty much what I'm selling. And uh, there's the motor for it. There's 60. I think it's 64,000 miles on the car. I'll go with, we'll show you the odometer in a second. It's a regular four barrel carburetor that came with it. Um, it's unmolested. I have the Serta card in the house. Uh, in the full disclosure, I was trying to track down an issue with the headlights would just shut off like all by themselves almost. And then, then I'd be like, what's going on? And then I'd pull into the parking lot and then they would work again so there's a short somewhere in there that that might be the dimmer switch on the floor was the last thing that I tried to tackle on that um, I changed the oil a couple of years ago and haven't really driven it I mean it's just kind of sitting here with in my driveway you know there's the original uh, one piece front floor mat that's hard to find for these things Got a little bit of water damage on that side of it. 66,764 miles. Really, I need to just get in here and kind of polish up everything. And I just don't have time to really mess with this car as much as I'd like. Um, I'm going to go get the key and see if I can get the key and pop open the trunk. Here's the passenger doors. So there you got, you know, you can see the passenger door and what that's like inside and, and on this side of it and everything. A lot of the weather stripping and everything is still good in this car, so that's kind of neat. The back windows have some problems rolling down. They kind of need to be taken apart and lubricated or something like that. But the front windows, as you can see, I just rolled it down with one. 
two, three turns of that, you know, these old fashioned cars, that's how those work. And of course there's the glove compartment. I got, I think there's uh, the paperwork from the previous owner and stuff like that is in there. And I also have a whole set of chrome uh, that goes on the like the outside chrome part of it. I have that. And, uh, and I have this chrome nose. I gotta go like this big, get that out today. Um, make sure that I have that with it. So, you know, we get like this little chrome nose right here. Alright, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, I may take some more pictures and make a second video, but I'd like to get as much as I can for it, obviously. I got about two, about 2200 into this thing. Uh, 1650 for it when I bought it. Another 350 on parts for the brakes. A lot of labor, you know, putting the brake parts on. Uh, the seat covers are another 300, so you now I'm better than 2200 into it. Alright, uh, give me a call if you're interested. Oh, just so you know, they like the radiator stuff out. It doesn't like leak or anything. And you can see that. The heater works good. It's got, it needs, um, like over here, I'm noticing a little bit of smoke on my valve cover or my uh, exhaust manifold. If that's a valve cover leak, that's pretty easily fixed. You just put a new set of valve cover gaskets on it and you'll be all set. Um, I think also I replaced the alternator when I was uh, working on it just uh, out of general principle, I think. I don't know. It seemed like I remember doing it. They probably just a newer one, but they don't cost a whole lot. So. All right, later.